He doesn't have a right eye. His bill is malformed. He has neurological issues. His owners took him to the vet to be euthanized. I'm Alex from the Shore Sanctuary, and this is Ricky's story for GeoBeats. I'm one of the co-founders here at the Shore Sanctuary. We had the vet reach out to us and ask us if we'd be interested in taking him on when he came to us. We had to tube feed him as well as then syringe feed him, eating and all of that kind of stuff. He does just fine, but it looks like a whole bunch of genetic defects. We're not even sure how much vision he has out of the one eye that is there. And then he does a lot of spinning and kind of flipping over backwards. When my wife brought him home from the vet's office, I have a soft spot in my heart for waterfowl specifically. It was definitely like a love at first sight type thing. He'll spend a lot of time with us, plus he was able to be around some of the other animals that are there so he could hear some of the other birds on the property. He has his own special pen and like a whole yard set up for himself in his own house where he has two other special needs birds that live in that area with him. Morning, Ricky. We allow Ricky plenty of time to swim. Myself, my wife, and some of the volunteers will often take him into the pool and spend anywhere from a half hour to a couple hours just in the pool swimming around and bonding with him. I try to play with him like I'm a goose so that he gets that opportunity to do it. I allow him to nestle up into my neck or rub my face into his feathers, which is something like what geese would do. From what we can tell, Ricky does not seem to be in any pain physically that we are aware of. We are still waiting for radiologists to take a look at the CT scans to try and know if there's anything else that we can do to help with him. Because of his genetic disabilities, it's hard to tell what all may be going on inside there. Even with close-up CTs of the head and full-body CT scans, you may not be able to tell and see everything that's going on, and things may develop over time. So we're waiting to see on that. The average lifespan of a goose can vary in captivity. I cannot even begin to guess as to how long Ricky has here at the sanctuary, but I can guarantee that every day he has here is going to be the best day of his life. Yes, my baby.